Okay, folks. So this is Senior Master Coordinator Bob Ferguson, and this is the business of health. And tonight, our guest is Kim Wise, who has been involved in Shackley for 19 months, and we'll hear about her additional experience in network marketing. She is an executive coordinator with five leaders on her recap. And I'd say that's a pretty good accomplishment for 19 months in the business. And one of the coolest things about her, she's also from Iowa. <laughs> this is like an all Iowa lineup for speakers tonight. So Kim, uh, you're a school teacher and you are your husband's a farmer. And so tell us about, tell us a little bit about you and uh, tell us about how you found Shackley. Uh, thank you for having me tonight. I am humbled to be among you. Uh, I was telling Bob, I feel like such a Shackley baby. I have so much to learn and, and to be with you, the greats, it's, it is humbling. So um, I'm um, like Bob said, I'm Kim Wise. I'm from Southwest Iowa. So near Harlan, which y'all know Jeff is from. Yeah. And um I um, grew up here. Actually, I grew up about seven miles away in Hancock, Iowa. Now we live outside of Avoca, Iowa. I married my high school sweetheart. We celebrated our 30th wedding anniversary. And we have four kids, 18, 21, 24, 27. The oldest is married and the three girls. One lives in Austin. The two others are in college at Iowa State and KU. I was a teacher. I was an elementary teacher and middle school teacher in Shelby, Iowa, and that school is now closed. And now I teach teachers. So this is my 21st year with our area education agency, where I am a science consultant. So I teach teachers in the areas of science curriculum ass assessment and instruction. So that's like my personal life. My multi-level marketing life, I was with, um, prior to Shackley, I'd been with Beachbody for five years, and um, I had worked my way up to a two-star diamond there. Beachbody is set up way different than Shackley, so it, I won't go into it, but it's just, it's a house of cards. You have to keep everybody eligible every week. It's, anyway... Um, but I had built my business at Beachbody. It's, you know, you, everybody knows it for fitness because of the infomercials on different workout programs, but what they also have is the 2B mindset, which is a, a very common sense weight loss program. And I had built a group. I was the leader of our team in the 2B mindset and ran our group. And we had over 600 people and with great success, like great great success at 2B Mindset. Um, so that was an ongoing group. So I had, I posted to those 600 people every single day. And in addition to that, I was running lots of other groups, keeping everybody active. It was nuts, but I was comfortable, right? I had been doing it for five years. I knew what I was doing. Their, their product line is very, very small. There's just not much to know. <laughs> so you show up, you work out, you drink your shake. And you eat your vegetables because that's what to be reminded that was. Um, so when my my upline is Christy Lyons, so you might have seen her speak at conference. Um, she's incredible. She's a very, very hard, hard working, hard working, generous, thoughtful, empowering leader. And um, I was like down in her down, down line at Beach Body. So I was like four or five levels down. Um, but, um, I was running our to be mindset group. I would, you know, I was still under her and she took care of all of us, no matter how far down you were. So she, we were going to plan a beach body retreat trip to, um, um, wherever I can't remember. Come <laughs> Orange Somewhere. Beach. It was Orange Beach. <laughs> it was fabulous. And um, she told me she she was leaving Beachbody, but she'd still be going on this Orange Beach trip. And it just flat. I I died. She was super successful at Beachbody. Like she had a great big team. I just could not believe she was leaving. And I, I'm, and she's like, "Would you, you know, he, would you like to hear about Shackley and come with me?" And I'm like. Well, God bless, but no, thank you. <laughs> I was like, I want, I, I'm good. I, I'm a two-star diamond. I know what I'm doing. 
sounds like a lot of work. And I'm like, no thanks. But then I went home and I Googled you all, right? Like you need to know more. I'm like, what? Who, who? I mean, I vaguely have this big recollection of my mom using Shackley sometime in my life, probably basic age. I can't even remember hardly. It's just super vague. And, um, but you know, the more you learn and then she's very persistent, like she will keep in touch with you and talk to you. And you don't even know, like, like she's planting seeds, planting seeds, planting seeds. She's a master. So she's like, you know, they just want to talk to you. Would you talk to, I can't remember. I like, I had to listen to these. You want to talk to Robbie? <laughs> Robbie wants to talk to you. Oh <laughs> well, okay, well, let's talk to Robbie. And then she's like, well, Robbie has a counter. Joe wants to talk to you. <laughs> like, okay, let's talk to Joe. Well, the, you know, after I talked to a few people, like, and they answered every single question. I, you know, I come from, I've been a science consultant and then a science teacher for 30 years. Like I had tons of questions. I had notebook pages full of questions and they just answered everything. Like every yeah, but they had an answer for it's very irritating. <laughs> <But they were laughs> not so right. nice and so patient. And I finally said yes. So I'm so glad I did. 19 months later, here I am. That is so great. That is so great. So, I mean, you intimated some of the reasons why you came over, but uh, if you had to name the top three reasons that brought you from Beachbody to Shackley, what would they be? Oh, top three. Well, number one, I think um, it was the people. Like I was able to talk to several, like I was one of the first um, distributors at Christie Sign. So I did have that luxury of talking to a lot of people and everyone was so kind, knowledgeable, generous, like, and I, and from Beach, Beachbody, nobody knew who I was, like not one person at corporate would know Kim Wise. And here I was talking to, you know, Kevin Crandall, like, who am I that a regional sales manager wants to talk to? Like, it was so crazy that, um, I got to talk to Kathy Keating, you know, like it was weird to me that like all these corporate level people would talk to a peon that you, they want to, that Christy wanted to bring over. Like, so it was the people. And then I met all like you people and it's just been crazy ever since. Is there a mean Shackley person alive? Cause I have yet to meet that person, <laughs> nothing but generosity and kindness and intelligence. Like, oh my gosh, the brain power of these people. The second thing I think that sold me was the um, science. I loved that everything was backed by science. I love the scientific studies. I love that you published the science. I love that you're proud of the science. And in relationship to that, the environmental science and saving our environment and love, love all of that. Um, and then I think I was the... Oh, this third one's hard because I have lots of ones I want to choose, but I'm going to say a uh, um, product line. And, you know, at Beachbody, our, the people we marketed to was very small, even at um, fifth, I'm 52. So even at 50, 51, I felt like I was aging out at Beachbody. I was absolutely one of the oldest people. Absolutely. Other than the nutrition only people, I was the oldest like fitness kind of oriented person. And you had this many products to share. So when I was looking at Shackley's product line, there's not a human being that we can't help. Like there are products for everyone. So I was really, and, and the highest quality products for everyone. So, and I don't know if anybody knows about the Enneagram, but I am an Enneagram one. So I'm very my high standards for myself and others and ethics are huge for me. And so that this company was such an ethical company really spoke to me. So I don't, that might have been three plus. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah, well, you live a little bit. You, you can have, you can have one or two extras. That's, that's fine. So, yeah, so that, well, that, that's really, really heartening. So you're building your organization, you're building a business. And these talks are aimed at people who have been involved with Shackley for a while, because it's really wonderful to hear from some dynamic new leaders 
it's also aimed at brand new people who are kind of looking at Shackley and saying, okay, is this the kind of outfit I want to be involved with? So why don't we talk about what does your Shackley day look like as a rising leader, which you now you have leaders in your organization. What does your Shackley day look like? How do you actually go about doing this thing? Yeah, that's a great question because I work full time and um, you know, when I was at Beach Body, and then I think growing the same type of business, I had kids at home, like they were high school aged kids. So we were busy all the time. I think um, working my Shackley business, though, feels more like a hobby to me in the sense that I do it because it's fun. It's I, I enjoy it. So I was telling some of my downline that I wake up that I, this is so nerdy, and I apologize. I wake okay, up. We can we can nerd out, can't we? <laughs> okay, everyone. Yeah, we, we, we can nerd out. I wake up thinking Shackley. I go to bed often thinking Shackley. I um throughout my day, I think, you know, how is Shackley benefiting me right now? And what would people want to hear about Shackley Wise right now? So even though I work for the AEA, so I I wake up, I scroll my so I reply to social media, I um think about what I want to post that day. I, and that's my main posting will be first thing in the morning. I will post, um, on my, my VIP. I have a Shackley VIP group. Those are all like potential and current customers that are just interested in being in there. Um, I post in that every day and it is just, you know, blatant Shackley. Like they know they're getting Shackley. Yeah, right. And then I post, I have a my own personal Facebook feed. I don't always post on my feed every day. It depends on what post I've had on there. So yesterday I had a really, I felt exciting post about my eye doctor appointment. And anyway, that's a whole nother track. So I'll let that go because that's still getting likes and comments. Um, yeah. But I post on my Facebook stories throughout the day. So even though I'm working on my AEA job, if it's like, if I'm taking a break from AEA work and I'm having a sustained energy tea, I'll share that. Like I'll share Shackley in the breaks of my day uh, as they relate to my day, you know? So, right. yeah. So then in the after work, I will make sure I have, I'm right now I'm on behalf of my team. We're hosting a October three week cleanse before and after challenge. So I'll, I'll post in there and schedule posts in there. If I'm not going to be able to post the live piece. Mm -hmm. um, and then I like today, then after that, I did that today. And then after that, I followed up my eye doctor post had brought in me several myology assessments. So I followed up with my myology assessments and then looked forward to this. Wow. Do you see the beads of sweat on her brow? <laughs> <laughs> it's, that sounds like a kind of a fun business. Well, I posted, I... Post it doesn't take long though. And I post to my friends and it doesn't take long for me. Like, cause I, that's the part, like you were talking about this, Bob too, like what I brought from the beach body world. I already had that skill set like that. I've already, I've already been posting for a lot of years. So yeah. the posting piece isn't hard for me to like come up with. And I don't over, like I have friends, I have a friend that took two hours to write a post today. That's not me. I am a two minute throw up, post it. And if I'm embarrassed a day later, I'll take it down. But I don't hardly ever do that. Like I just post and that, cause it's- Well, you know, I, I, don't, I, don't, know Kim, I, I don't really find this, but sometimes the silly embarrassing posts are the ones that really blow up, right? For go, sure. Oh, I'm, I'm glad I did that So one. you just, so, I just feel like the more spontaneous and authentic, the better the post is anyway. So I don't, I don't overthink my posts. So I don't waste a lot of time that way. It's not a waste of time. I don't spend a lot of time that way. Right, right, right. Yeah. And I think that's a key distinction that, you know, both for anyone looking at this from the outside or for those of us on the inside, it's good to think through making the distinction between posting and then your stories. Your post is kind of more of a stake in the ground. Well, this is a definitely do as I say, not as I do, because sometimes I don't make so much of a distinction. But I mean, it, it is really valuable to understand that you can post and then 
that's kind of your imprimatur. There's your stake in the ground for the day. There's the thing that is important for people to understand. Then you go over to stories and you talk about your tea and you talk about this and you talk about that. That's more of a dialogue with your world as you're going through your life. Yeah. And people like that kind of thing, don't they? They do. Yeah. People like to hear, you know, and I think part of the trick is to understand that the details of our life, particularly if they're presented with a little bit of a twist or a little bit of something fun, is really a great way. And so that's how you attract, that's primarily how you attract people to interact with, right? Yeah. Yeah. Do you, do you ever just do like, you know, here, this is actually called a telephone. Do you ever actually pick it up and call someone <laughs> not very often my kids yeah, very often. Often. Okay. Well, <laughs> you should try that every so often i know uh, i yeah. know but uh, okay so really you're and this is something to think about folks she's been in the business for 19 months and is executive coordinator with five on a recap okay you know what can we learn from that and what i've heard tonight which i think i would underscore is the absolute efficiency with which you do your business. Posting stories, follow up. Posting stories, follow up. Maybe challenge group. And then teaching other people to do the same thing. So let's talk about that. So we pretty much know what the, a day in the life of Kim and Shackley looks like. So what does the day in the life of Kim, the Shackley leader, working with other people look like? I... Yeah, uh, I'm trying, still trying to figure that out. I am okay. thrilled to have five directors under me. I know that that's not um, a usual thing. Um, I know that I am very, very blessed by that. I think the reason, so um, one of my directors uh, is a friend and came over from Beachbody and she's just been a 2000, she's been a director for a long time and she's just happy to be there. That's it. That'll be it for her. Um, Stacy Sharp, I don't know if some of you probably may have know Stacy. She's a go-getter and I'm blessed. She's a unicorn. I hope you all have many, many unicorns. And I hope to have at many. least one, right? <laughs> she At least one and she is a unicorn, such a hard worker. And she works gazillions of hours. And then I have signed recently a new unicorn and she comes from Beachbody World. So I feel very blessed by her. And she feels very blessed by Shackley. Like the reasons I said, I think she feels the same way. Like, wow, we work so hard at Beachbody, but now we come to Shackley and not only is this company super generous, but there's all of this huge product line that how do you focus? And, you know, it's just <laughs> incredible. And then I have, so then I have these two babe, these two new directors that have just grown completely organically, completely on their own. Both work full time. One is an accountant. One is a, a nurse. She teaches nursing students. And I think, and I, so I keep thinking like, how, how did we do this? Like, how, how are we sustaining five people at 2000 or more volume? In some cases more than, you know, you know, several thousand more than that. Um, we have, so this, this is, this is not magic. So we have a messenger group. So a messenger thread. Yep. with all of us in it, including like, I have a handful, a large handful of who I love my 500 to 1500 volume people. Like I just, the, you know, they, I love them. Like they are solid volume producers. They're in this group. My directors are in this group and we, it's just like this hen house like <laughs> like my, my grandma's name my grandma's you know like we talk all you know we talk whenever something say we put it in there we talk so we keep I think that's team building right there and then we do have a team Facebook group and in there I try to do more teaching so I'll um, teach a little bit about social media and I'll give ideas for social media or how you know like 
yesterday, one of these days, I talked about how when you're doing stories on Instagram, your Instagram stories, don't go over a minute, stop, have a graphic. And then you, if you need have more to say, continue it after the graphic, because people have very short attention spans and they don't want to hear like I'm doing now. You don't want to hear so much long. You want it broke up. And I learned that from my middle schoolers too. You can only take so much. <laughs> and then, Some of the graders um, only have a certain <laughs> attention span. Right? right? Good. So good, good, good teaching training, in the huh? Facebook group, team building in the messenger thread. And then we just, we just, my team is super, super, as I'm sure yours is too. They love each other and they are so happy for one another's, uh, you know, growth. And so when someone gets close or wants to get close, like everybody gets behind them and we just all push together and celebrate every single 10 PV sale if we have to. It's great. Well, Kim, this has really been such a wonderful conversation. Um, is there anything uh, else? I mean, we could be here for hours and I'm sure that everyone would stick around and, and listen, but we want to, uh, we want, we want to make that, we want to have them come back. So let's just wrap up by saying just some final bit of wisdom or maybe something you didn't get to say yet that you want to say, and then we'll wrap it up. Um, I think that you all need to know that you were such a gift to us. Like all the people that are have been here less than two years seeing if it weren't for you and all the um graciousness that you have shown us i can't i mean the the, the people you probably know and the people on this call no way no way we, any of us could have done this without you well very good on that very happy note, Kim, thank you very much. We're going to watch your development with great interest, and I'm sure you're going to be back on the, the business of health in the future. So thank you all for being with us, and we'll see you in a couple of weeks when Thanks, Dr. Everybody. Maggie is going to be holding forth. <laughs>